Hello everyone, welcome to Unlock Maths. Today we have to find inverse Laplace transform of this function. So let's call this function, this is as f of s, right? Now, yes, here we have this f of s is equals to s into log of this function, right? That means first we can apply log rule here. So by log rule we can write this is log of this s plus 1 minus log of s minus 1, right? And again, this is we can multiply this s to this complete bracket. So here we have s into log of s plus 1 minus s into log of s minus 1 and this minus 2 as it is, right? Now, yes, here we have log function. That means here we have to convert this function in algebraic function, right? So for this we have to differentiate this is with respect to s, right? So here we have this f dash of s is equals to yes. So how to find its differentiation? This is by product rule. Same here. So by product rule here we have this is s into 1 upon this s plus 1, right? Plus this log of s plus 1 into its derivative. This is 1 here. Same here. This is s into 1 upon s minus 1, right? this plus log of s minus 1 into this s derivative this is 1 here and this minus 2 derivative this is 0 right now we can simplify this is so here we have right now again we can check that here we have log function right that means we can differentiate this is again So here we have, yes, we have to apply quotient rule. So by quotient rule here we have, yes, this is s plus 1 into derivative of this. This is 1 here minus s into derivative of this one. So this is here we have 1, right? Log derivative, this is. 1 upon s plus 1 same here by quotient rule we have right and this is 1 upon s minus 1 right now we can simplify so here we have yes this s this s get cancelled so here we have 1 upon s plus 1 8 square this is plus 1 upon s plus 1 same here this s this s get cancelled this minus minus get plus so here we have 1 upon this s minus 1 8 square minus 1 upon s minus 1 so we got this is f2 dash of s right so yes here we have this f2 dash of s now what we have to do we have to take inverse laplace transform now we have to operate this l inverse separately on this function so here we have now yes l inverse of this one yes how to find yes here we have s plus 1 that means here we have to apply for shifting property of inverse laplace transform so here we have to take e raised to this is minus t outside right we have taken this plus 1 outside so remaining here we have l inverse of this s square right now l inverse of this one 1 upon s plus 1 this is e raised to minus t same here l inverse of this is how to take this is e raised to this is t the l inverse of this remaining s square right and l inverse of this is this is e raised to t right here we have apply for shifting property of inverse laplace transform right we have yes now e raised to minus t now so l inverse of 1 upon s square right this is t here the e raised to minus t this is as it is this e raised to t into 
again this is here we have t and this e raised to t here right so if we want we can simplify we can take this e raised to minus t this is common here so here we have e raised to minus t right this is 1 plus t same here we can take this e raised to t common so here we have this t minus 1 right so here l inverse of f2 dash of s now yes we want f of t right so yes by property of inverse laplace transform of derivative yes what we have yes we have this is l inverse of this f2 dash of s we can write this is minus 1 square into t square into f of t yes this is by property of yes now yes by using this property yes we can write this side this is as here so here we have this minus 1 it square this is 1 so here we have t square into f of t and remaining this is this side right so here we have e raised to minus t we can write this is as a this is t plus 1 right and this e raised to t t minus 1 right so this is here we have f of t we can shift this t square on this side so here we have e raised to minus t t plus 1 plus e raised to t t minus 1 so this is required f of t which we have find for this function right so we have used the property of inverse laplace transform of derivative right so yes in this way we have to proceed for finding inverse laplace transform for this given function so yes that's it for now see you in the next video thank you keep watching